Hello everyone! For this video, we are to prove the alternate interior angles theorem. This theorem tells us that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of alternate interior angles is congruent. Or in other sense, they have the same measurement. For this theorem, let us consider this given situation. Let us say, a transversal line T cuts parallel lines P and R. Again, this theorem will only work for parallel lines. Hence, we have here this claim that lines P and line R are parallel. From this, we need to show that the two alternate interior angles, angle E and angle C, to be congruent. For this theorem, let us use the two-column proof as we place here statements and corresponding reasons as we proceed to showing that the alternate interior angles here form in this given figure to be congruent. If we could show that angle E is congruent to angle C, then we have proven this theorem. For the first statement, for our two-column proof, we need to consider the given statement so that as we come up with next statements later on, they will be anchored to this claim. Yes. Our first statement is where transversal line T cuts, passes through or intersects parallel lines P and R. The reason? Given. Once we have declared this statement and its corresponding reason to be given, we need to look for an opportunity for us to construct relationships between the angles form since we our goal is to show two angles, specifically the outer interior angles E and C, to be congruent. The second statement here would be adding a different angle out from the given situation. Let us say there is an angle A form that is a corresponding angle. of angle E. Again, we need to assume that there is an angle A which is a corresponding angle of angle E. And the corresponding angle of angle E in this given situation in this is this angle here. Hence, we place here A. We could always use construction or the reason by construction, adding an important part of our figure to help us construct better relationships of the angles here. The reason for that is we are just simply constructing an angle A. Generally, we are not constructing because we are not adding another parallel line, but we are just placing here or naming it and this is actually by construction. Out from this, we could say that angle E is congruent to angle A. Again, angle E is congruent to angle A. It is because once we have constructed angle A to be the corresponding angle of angle E, we have a postulate before which is the corresponding angles postulate, which tells us that when a transversal line cuts parallel lines, the corresponding angles form are actually congruent. Again, this is brought by the corresponding angles postulate. This is also the reason why we have declared another angle 
angle A in the given statement so that we could come up with a relationship between angle A and the other angle, angle C, that is actually our target here. So with that, we could also say that angle A is congruent to angle C. This added angle here is congruent to angle C. What do you think is the reason for this? The corresponding reason for this fourth statement is the vertical angles theorem. Which states that vertical angles are congruent. And in this situation, the added angle A and angle C are vertical angles. We can now see how the fifth statement would go since we have a relationship here in statement number three and statement number four that are already accepted to be true because of these reasons. With this statement number three, the, the angle E is congruent to angle A, and statement number four, angle A is congruent to angle C. We have a common angle to both, and we could use here the transitive property to declare the relationships of the other angles. So number five is where we say the angle E is congruent to angle C. This is again by transitive property. We have reached our intended outcome using the given situations. This is one of the possible proof for Alter interior angles theorem, which tells us that in two or more parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, each pair of alternate interior angles is congruent or have the same measurement. This is the proof for this theorem.